So the last time we came to y'all from these chairs, it was because we were having a problem. Well, <laughs> we're having a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's not a problem that can't be solved. It's being solved as we speak. Um, but um, we're going to talk about the truck. And I will be referring to my notes so I can try to stay on track. Because we have an early morning, we have some driving to do. And that's a hint and a clue about what's going on with the truck at this point. Um, so the last time um, we spoke and y'all saw me, I was just sat down. Many told me to get to work and I had just sat down and started working and looking for a rental to yes. use. And that was to no avail. Um, every place we called, we tried all the traditional um, rental places um, and nobody rented the kind of truck that we need. We have a 3500, a Ram 3500 Dually, and yes. nobody rented those. Um, the only place that did rent Dually trucks was a commercial place, and they only rented to businesses, so they wouldn't rent to us. <clears throat> um, so, we were kind of at an impasse, and we had two options. One was to buy a fifth wheel hitch to go into Chaz's truck <laughs> that he was offering us. Um, but uh, that wasn't an option. We were not going to spend that much money for a uh, fifth wheel hitch to use in his truck. So in all actuality, the only option we had was to use our truck. So we went to Chaz and I let him know that we couldn't find a uh, rental and you know that we were out of options because I really believe this woman if we hadn't gotten out of there on September 4th then she was gonna call the police on us and probably try to have the RV impounded out of there or something. So he kind he called in his uh, diesel tech and you know asked him about whether it could get us because I told him that to get from Stone Mountain to Carolina Landings, which is where we are now, was about a hundred miles. Actually, a hundred and three miles, according to according to uh, GPS. Yeah, GPS and Google Maps. So. Um, Diesel Tech, he said, yeah, you know, he, he thinks it'll, it'll make it, no problem. So we um, decided, Minnie and I decided, yes, that we weren't going to try and do it all in one trip, two reasons. We were leaving Stone Mountain on the 4th. Our reservations at on Carolina the, Landings didn't begin the until the 6th. So... At that time, um, we needed somewhere for two days. So, at all the parks uh, that we checked into, which there wasn't very many in the area, were all full because it was a holiday weekend coming up on Labor Day. So, I was thinking, who can I contact that may have some property that maybe we could just stop for the night? So, I thought about Doug and Trina, who I work with, and... Um, I sent them a text message and asked them, uh, would it be okay if we stopped by their place and boondock for two nights on our way, because it was straight on our way to Carolina Landings. Uh, actually, they were about 48 miles from Carolina Landing. Yeah. Yeah. So what we, when I sent them the message, I got a message back saying, sure, you can come over and um, you could boondock at our place. But guess what? We're not there. We're out of town on vacation with our fifth wheel. So we told them okay, and we um, actually, uh, from there, Benny went and got the truck. Yeah. So I went and got the truck, went back to Stone Mountain, and, and hooked up, and it pulled up there fine, you know. 
the standard temperature for tra for the transmission is around 107. I mean, around 170 to you know 177. That's the highest I've ever seen that transmission go pulling the and pulling the RV. But this time, you know, it was up to 100 to 200 and 210, 221. Um, so. We didn't want the truck to overheat, so that's why we went on ahead and we left. And all, with all those other parks, you know, all the parks, especially heading south and, you know, between, you know, up north and down here, you know, all of this, the, the park's windows are closing because the season is ending and people are heading south. So we figured it would be a grand idea to stop there, let the truck cool off, let the engine cool off. and. You know, we did that, and you know, we had a we had a good time just boondocking in their driveway. You know, nice. um, we got to go to Tanger Outlet and get some new Crocs, and then we saw a winery while we're on our way there, and we decided to stop there on our way back, um, and everything worked out. So then, after that, um, we went on ahead and finished the trip up to Carolina Landing, which is in Fair Play, South Carolina. Um, we got there, we set up, and, you know, on the 7th, when they opened back up because of the holiday, and beelined it straight down to, uh, uh, Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain, to the Chrysler dealership, dropped the truck off, um, and then we had the issue of transportation again. Yes. So, we went on ahead, and we rented a car. Yes. And which was fine because Chrysler committed to reimbursing us for the rental of the car. Most of it, you know, um, they they couldn't reimburse the full amount, but they reimbursed what, like forty five a day or something. Yeah, like they that. reimbursed forty five a day. You know, we paid like fifty nine a day. Um, so that was cool. So we had that for about a week, but after that. Chaz uh, let me know that they had a lumber for us, so we were good. So we went to Fair Play to uh, Carolina Landings, and you know we were there. And well, when when this first happened, we had to cancel all of our reservations. We were on our way up to Maine. We were going to be up in Maine for a few weeks so we can watch the leaves change, get some lobster, yada, 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 do whatever you do in Maine. That was the plan. So we canceled all of those plans when this started happening. Um, then um, we got to Maine, we got to Carolina Landings and, you know, we had some good news. The estimated time would be about um, about seven days on the tr on the uh, truck, so we made plans again, and we started. And now we didn't do this being naive, thinking that everything was perfect and everything yes. was going to work out perfectly the way that we planned. We did this because, like I said, the window for RVing up in the north was closing. A lot of places closed down in the winter time because of the snow, because of the weather, the temperatures, and all that. So. We just tried to stay on point, so we did. We made reservations again, um, and then we were told, "Well, it's not going to be. We're not going to be able to order the transmission until Tuesday." Okay. Well, and also they said that Chrysler had to come in at right, some right. point. We that had was to wait it. for Chrysler to send a representative or someone there. Right. And that was it. They, Chrysler had to send their tax out. Yes. You were absolutely right. So they had to send techs out to look at the transmission. So we canceled because they weren't going to be there for a few days. So we canceled those a second time. Then after all of that was done, it was confirmed that a transmission was going to be needed and that the transmission was going to be there that Tuesday. So I'm not using specific dates because I don't remember the dates offhand. But they said it was going to be that Tuesday. Okay, cool. So. We decided let's go ahead and get these reservations back on point because we may be able to make something. And again, those windows are closing. So we made the reservations. Um, and then uh, the Chrysler rep called me and said, Well, <laughs> sorry, transmission is not going to be there. 
<laughs> until next week. <laughs> so now at this point, now this is the difference between Carolina Landings and Stone Mountain. At this point, we're about to run over our time at Carolina Landings. So I go up to the office and I let Donna know, the manager at the office, and she says, okay, she goes into the computer and she extends our time right away. And I said, I tell her, you know, what's going on with the truck. I said, and, you know, so far they've been extended. And she said, well, Benny, she said, honey, if you need more time, don't worry about it. We'll work it out. No problem. No problems. She just, she was just like, we'll work it out. Don't worry about it. So that was cool. We went back and, you know, now we, we, and we have transportation. We have the charger. So that was good. Which is the loaner vehicle from, right. from Chrysler. From Chrysler. Yes. And, um, but, you know, we were putting some miles on that bad boy. Yeah. Cool. Oof. Because we were also having issues with getting, you some know. Some orders in from FedEx. So. Some orders from FedEx, yeah. And so we were going 200 miles a day, so almost, you know, to try and catch up to these packages. But I digress from that. Um, now, at this point, you know, we get word again from Chrysler um, saying, okay, we're going to order the parts again, they're going to order the parts again, and hopefully they'll be in, it was on that following Monday, and lo and behold, that Monday, Chaz called me himself and said, hey buddy, we got the transmission and all the parts in and we should be finished with the car by the end of the week now because he said it I considered that golden you know but at this point in time we had given up on Maine you know because we couldn't find uh, campgrounds with availability the best we could find got us to DC Clarksburg Maryland um, and we were able to go into DC um, but that's coming up on the uh, on my uh, future video. Um, yeah. So that worked out. Um, <clears throat> Got to look at my notes here. So that worked out, and we got the truck back. Okay, all of our orders are canceled. So, and now that's where we are now. That's where we are at this point in time. Um, the truck is outside. It's late. It's dark out, so I'm not going to even take the camera out there. Let y'all see. I'll take my word for it. The good thing is that all of this was covered under warranty. Under warranty. And uh, also, when we purchased the truck, we did go ahead and make the sacrifice and spend some extra money to get an extended warranty. So yeah. I'm not a person who likes to buy a warranty on certain things because I feel like if it break, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> but. Uh, can't do that with the truck, so I'm glad that yeah. we took the time to spend that extra money. And I'm and I'm the kind of person who, you know, if something goes something goes down and something has to be done, you know, I don't use backyard mechanics and I don't try to do major stuff myself. I rather take it someplace and let somebody do it who I can hold responsible for the work that's done to it and you know that's what we did. And and because this the R V and the truck is your home and it's an investment um, it's your place where you're living at. You need to have it done professionally so that someone will be held accountable, you know, because if something go down and we learned a real serious lesson that when that truck went down, we you have nothing to move your home. You're stuck. Yeah. You're yeah. like dead in the water. You're stuck, you know, unless... <sighs> Things just worked out for us. I don't know what yeah. would have been the other option. Yeah. Um, we would have had to come up with something. I don't know if you have to get a, a towing company or something like that to pull it. But how in the world they do it, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, but I'm sure it would have been somebody. Well, we do know somebody who did have a towing company move their RV. And it was a substantial amount of money. Yeah. A lot of money. But luckily, their situation allowed an insurance company to pay for theirs. We yes. would have to pay for it out of pocket. Yeah. So, so. <clears throat> but um, out of that, because we had to extend here at Carolina Landings so yes. many times, we went on ahead and instead of putting Donna in a position where she had to stress herself out trying to trying to work in our problem, you know, 
we just went on ahead and upgraded our Thousand Trails membership. Yes. And we'll talk to y'all about Thousand Trails in the future. But we ended up um, extending and, you know, upgrading the membership, which allowed us to be here for 21 days. And we used every day of it. And and the thing is, is with Donna there at the office at Carolina Landing, whether we upgraded our membership or not, she was willing to work something out. And that's all that mattered. Yeah. Because, hey, if we have to work it out, we'll work it out. Yeah. You know, whatever we have to pay, we'll pay it. And the thing is, is that she was willing to make uh, accommodations for us. And let me tell you what I said to her. I said, I said, well, you know, um, what if somebody else needs a site? She said, you're on the site. If you can't move off the site, then you can't move off the site. I just don't know what to say. I really appreciate her. You know, she was like the bomb. Yeah. All right. So, and then finally, you know, um, I want to address um, something that we said, a statement that I made. I'll speak for myself. Minnie made the statement too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to speak for Minnie. He's going to speak for him. Okay. When I said that we would not be back, go back to Stone Mountain. We won't spend any more money there. That's me eating my words. And here's why. Okay. Stone Mountain is a very nice park. And when we get to a point when we're there and not having issues and not having issues with people at the park, then, you know, we'll do a video of the park. Um, but it is a very nice park. The park didn't do anything to us. And we would be amiss and we would be shooting ourselves in the foot if we did not use the park when we have access to it. Um, because it's right there where all of our friends are. Okay, and also it's convenient to our children and our grandchildren. Okay, yes. more convenient than um, Fort Yargo or to um, Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier. So, yeah, we would. The only reason, you know, I said that was because after what y'all saw in the end of the Stone Mountain video, me sitting down at the computer, you know, and finding that we could not find a rental truck. We went back up to the office and we spoke with Lily again. That's the lady's name in the office, Lily or Liliana or something like that. And we brought up the issue of the emergency sites again. And she specifically said to us, we don't have those sites. We don't have those. Now, when we brought it up, there was a gentleman standing in the office who said, yeah, you know, if they have an emergency site, you know, I have an F-450, I'll move your truck. I'll move your, I'll move your RV to the site. She said they don't have them. Now, we went, I mean, when, when we got, we were getting ready to leave, we needed propane. So I went to the office to the store and to get propane and the maintenance guy came and we were talking about what was going on and he said well why don't they put you on one of the back pocket sites I said the back pocket site you mean emergency site he said yeah I said the lady in the office said they don't have those and he was like said I said y'all don't have those she said y'all don't have those and he said we do have those no one's on them I was like really so you know, at this point, you know, we had things pretty much worked out and I wasn't even going to go to the manager with it, you know, because I think it would have been, you know, to no avail to go yeah. in and, and no use. It was over yeah. by now. So we were happy with what was going on. We were able to move the RV and we were able to get to where we were going to go. Um, but, you know, I was just I was just really disappointed in that treatment. But. Like I said, you know. Now, now me, <laughs> if it was left up to me, I'd drive extra five miles, 10, 20 miles before I go back there. But because my husband said we will, um, we can go back there. Like he said, it wasn't the park, but 
as you know, when you feel like people have just not trying to do have good business with you, you don't want to do. But you don't want to do business with people who are not doing good business. That's how I feel. Um, but it is convenient and it's all of that. But if it was left up to me, uh, we would find somewhere else. That's how I feel. Yeah. And, and with me, I feel like the only reason we had to have any kind of communication with her at all anyway is because of the situation. Um, if that situation, if we go back and nothing occurs like that and we pray that it don't, then we don't have to have any contact with her. Yes. You know? Yeah. And, you know, that's that's my hope is that we don't even have to have contact with her in the future. Now, if Thousand Trails opens up a park in that area, well, we'll be going to Thousand Trails. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> um, also, before we finish up, I would like to send a, another thank you to Doug and Trina because we really appreciate you guys. You all helped us when we were in a tight spot. And yeah. we look forward to seeing you guys out there full time and one day soon here in the new year. Yep. And also, we want to say thank you again because we haven't said it lately. And I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribes to our channel and who watches us on a regular and who participates with comments. We, I, we really appreciate that and I enjoy um, sending responses and replies to the comments. So, okay. if you are not a subscriber and you are new to our channel, please give us a thumbs up when you binge watch all of our videos <laughs> <laughs> and hit that like button and uh, subscribe, subscribe. Ring, ring that bell, bell so you can get notifications when yeah. we uh, drop a new video. Yeah. So, until next time, Bon, bon voyage. Do you be saying Bon Voyage? Don't worry about what I'm saying. It's say, so say it. Say Bon Voyage. Ooh. Say it. Jesus. Say it. Bon Voyage. <laughs> say it Bon Voyage. I did not put an R in there. Say it. Bon Voyage. Say Bon Voyage. <laughs> say Bon. Boy, bon boy. What I'm saying is boy, boy, <laughs> boy. Go ahead and finish the trip up to Carolina Landings, um, which is in foreplay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, <laughs> which is in fair play, South Carolina. What in the world are you thinking? <laughs> Okay, uh, so, no. <laughs> so, 